to fear the world. It has gone mad. Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. We are again on our journey back to the crossroads. While the flame still burns. Hope, Hope remains. remains. As we of course saw prior. We didn't have the best of times in the footer. The seat of your denial. Perched precariously in the murky gloaming. We did not have the best time at all, but regardless, we do have some diary entries from prior to their demise as well as the demise itself. So let's start out with some of the diary entries from the Grove. Felt the the um What the hell's the, the class name? Anyways, Felther. <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember. Um, this is, of course, by EBG. First in on our way. The Torch and Crown, I think it's called. My first ever entry in this diary, I think. I admit it's been a long while I had the, uh, since I had the chance to stay at one. The bath is nice and had a chance to wash my clothes for once. The suspicious glances people throw my wear are fine too. I don't particularly care. I don't know where we're going still, but hopefully it means something. This journey promises to be dangerous. Oh, and one last thing. I can't stop thinking about that highwayman, Dismas. I'm not sure why I know his name, or even where I know him from, but it's been in my mind during the short trip. And then we got another one at the Torch and Crown for Courtney, our plague doctor. This journal is a recording of the events transpired on my, our journey. I am unsure of the final destination, but the road ahead is decidedly treacherous, which is why I've decided to travel with some strangers who are far more prepared for physical confrontation. I was rendered unconscious by some nearly fatal injuries and awoke at a crossroads. I saw a familiar face there. Jane is her name. I know her as she assisted me greatly in my research through the acquisitions of necessary means. I know one other, though unfortunately, um, I know, yeah, I know one other, though unfortunately their name slips my mind, and they have decided to stay behind. I wish them good fortune. They seem deep in thought as we left. And then one last one for the Torch and Crown by Josiah and Manor Arms. The barbaric warrior proved herself capable. I didn't doubt it. I think I recognize her from the stories I've heard lately when traveling back here. She'll be a capable comrade in this adventure adventure. I am quite confused as to why it has such a strong feeling in my chest. Feeling that I've done it all before, or at least something close to this. I've never been to these lands before. I know for sure my old age must be catching up with me. We shall progress forward, onwards, onto the next the cycle. Of denial must be destroyed. Indeed they must. And so it is. We venture forward the again to the crossroads. The place between places. Here we are. Here we are with our unlikely crew once again. And this time, we're going to be shaking things up once again. Beneath we're taking Felther. And fury, there is emptiness and shame. Josiah. Dismas. Hunted. And Harry, our plague doctor. A fugitive seeking to outpace the past. And we'll see how these guys function together. I think they should have a decent time. But we never really know what the Crossroads has in store for us. But first, we will move on to the diary entries, or should I say, the um, narration of the deaths of the fallen heroes that died in the last cycle. This is for Felther, the Fall. She feels the sweat roll down her face. Or was it blood? Or that toxic viscera that monster had been spewing all over them for quite some time? She doesn't know. And honestly, she doesn't care. One eye is blinded. The other watching resolutely at the beast uh, as the beast shuffles forth. Surrounded by plates with rotten food, half eaten and filled with bugs. She can feel the other's despair around her. She can feel the re their refusal to die. But she... She grips her halibut even stronger, a smile blooming on her face for the first time. She is content. This is how it should be. This is how it should have been. 
She rushes in with a strike, cutting off a tentacle and slicing across the putrid flesh as the monster screeches with its disgusting childlike voice before bashing her back with one of its other appendages. She is smiling through the pain, through the agony. She is smiling. When they ventured into this chasm, she could feel death not far away. She didn't say anything. She didn't warn them. She wanted it. And now she's getting it. Finally, peace. After all she's gone through, she will fall in battle like she was supposed to. Bubbling laugh escapes their throat as she pushes herself even further. Feeling every bone in her body ache, she rushes forward one last time, directly at the avalanche of bile the creature sent her way. Maybe the others will be smart enough to, to escape. She doesn't care. This is f her slash connects the last uh, with the last man on the field. Despair in his eyes as they meet her own um, apathetic ones. She realizes she releases another exhausted sigh, lazily wiping away the blood from her cheek. A diary strapped on her side, she turns away. She walks again until she sees it within the light, the fog. Here we go again. Amazing. Next up we have Courtney, our plague doctor. The fall. The stagecoach stopped along, a, along the road, the grotesque fiends gathering ahead of them, outside of a home overtaken by the fleshy overgrowth. Those in their path were quickly dispatched, but Felfa elected to push further inside. Courtney was hesitant, but within those walls, the source of the diseased flesh that had corrupted her world, a tumour that must be exercised. Courtney followed inside, assisting in the dispatching of the ill-fated residents, until finally they found it. The Harvest Child, overgrown, bearing physical mutations to such an extreme that only its high-pitched wobbling cries and the proportions of its head still resemble what it once was, an infant. Courtney was furious. She wanted to grab for her blade and slice apart the twisted mass, a testament to the cruelty of this corruption, but she remained in her place, keeping her allies alive, with a grip so tight it threatened to shatter the glass containing her miracle medicines. Unfortunately, will is not everything. Despite the old soldier's defiance, Jane's will to survive and the barbarian's fury, and Courtney's own harmful inten intentions, the monstrous thing was simply too powerful. As was the allure uh, of the flesh seeping through the cracks in the floor, Courtney watched as the warriors fell victim to it, as they were punched and torn by the beast's great maw. She watched her own wounds mount steadily, disease fumes seeping, seeping into her mask, Toxic ichor eating away her suit and gloves. She felt it. The cold, unsteady, unsteadiness, loss of control, the blackness at the edge of, edges of her vision. It felt familiar. She knew this feeling. It was death. Stepping dangerously close at the same time, she felt a sort of defiance. Determined to prove herself stronger than it, she whispered to herself, Not again. The words held the weight of memories too fuzzy to recall, but too important to ever truly forget. She would now cower under the death's gaze, meekly hoping it never takes her. She would make it decide now. She would come to it, and she would either win or she would die. She smiled weakly as the fight progressed through to the outsider. It became, though to the outsider, it became more and more clear how the fight would end. Courtney held hope. Those warriors in front of her, they must share some similar values, for they resisted death too. A glorious victory against the world's greatest enemy was at hand. She must simply keep moving, so that every attempted death um, made the, to the grasp at her would fall short. How unfortunate that she would hesitate, seeing the warrior lady in front of her charge into the most suicide, charge in the most suicidal manner, and ending up ending up torn in two within the maw of the monster. Seeing the old soldier follow suit soon after, frozen by fear. Or was it hopelessness? It didn't matter now. He was dead too. Courtney stopped moving, watching the monster desecrate the corpse of, corpses of her companions. And that is when it took her. The cold enveloped. It was like a water, flowing past her. The blackness did as well. Slowly and slowly she sunk into the floor. She took a look at her hands, her arms. The suit and gloves were eaten away entirely. And underneath her... Oh, it's just the rain. Courtney flicked the water off their gloved hands, walking beside Jane. 
as they approached the crossroads. This just, it baffles me how good at writing some of you are. Next up we have Josiah, the fall. He should have been prepared for this. He should have been ready. He knew it all too well. All the thoughts of grim disappointment had been seeping into his skull for the past few minutes. Ever since they entered this wretched field of corrupted flesh, he had begun um, showing signs of weakness. Weakness growing stronger, bolder. Steel mind not being able to keep an old, brittle body in check long enough to sustain pro prolonged and devastating encounters like these. He kept moving, because the others did, but he had understood he wouldn't be too long for this world. For a strange reason, he wanted to add again into his thoughts after his last confusion. Onwards, just a little longer, this beast will fall, he feels himself scream, trying to bolster his companions, even knowing that they are largely overwhelmed by the grotesque monster in the form of an overgrown child, surrounded by endless rotten, rotting feasts, with spreading flesh consuming and corrupting all the lands they have travelled so far. He shouts defiantly, bashing the beast's meals with his tr uh, trusty mace, attacking forward, puncturing the rotting flesh and wincing, hearing the cries of the child pierce his ears. Despite all, the battle did not seem to go their way, not at all. He slowly realised that, he that it had to do with several things. The barbarian's reckless abandon was the main one. He wanted to shout at her, bring her back to her senses, make her fight like a true warrior and not one wishing to die, but they had no time. No time. And his body was at its limits. He sees the earth travel towards him, darkness overtaking his mind. He went far too long. Rest is all that matters. If only he had another chance. The flame of the bonfire in the middle of the camp besides the crossroads. The old man looks into the flames inquisitively, eyes flickering, of uh, flickers of light with grim focus. He spots a figure approaching, eyes catching long, messy hair, tired, apathetic eyes. Another chance. Hmm? Another? Surely he had never met this barbaric woman before. And then lastly, we have the next uh, death for Jane Fall. As the group first encountered the twisted lands just past the inn, the dread had already started to envelop each of their minds. This place was home to no man. Only truly wretched beasts could bear to stand the unfathomable stench and disease-filled air of this horror show that lied ahead. But like the warriors they had made themselves out to be, they pushed forward, with the old barbarian woman leading the charge. Unbeknownst to her, that her foolhearted uh, hearted and brash overconfidence would be the slow and insidious killer that many others before them had fallen victim to. As they approached the first structure with some semblance of the past still within its walls, death loomed overhead. And as the group inched closer to the heart of that damned building, so too did the Reaper Scythe. The barbarian pushed the group too hard and convinced them to venture deeper into the sanctum of festering rotten creatures in the hopes of coming out the other side with the riches to carry them to new lands, but she was so very wrong. In that basement lied a grotesque oversized infant, flesh moulded into the floorboards and intertwined with the wooden support beams above, its whole self covering every square inch of that room. One by one it grabbed each of them and swallowed them whole until Jane stood alone. Not again, she thought, although it was, wasn't clear why. She stood at the edges of death, fending off the beast's advances, but she too would fall like the rest of her team. As darkness grew more prominent and the creature lashed out one last time, the last thing Jane heard was a loud snap and a crunch as her spine was pulverised. And then, nothing. She looked down to see a large branch from the trees above that she had just broken in two while walking. She looked around and realised her mind had been wandering, on her way to the crossroads. Oh my god. The, these, the, the writing here has just been fantastic. That last one was written by me, by the way, and I'm really proud of that. I'm not a very creative writer myself. I'm not a very good writer. Um... Uh, and I, I think that came out really well, but we're, we're getting we're rearing up to where uh, to go again So let's just quickly check what we've got in terms of our um, 
our quirks here and then we'll get onto a few of the diaries just before we start at the crossroads here there's only two for today so it won't be too long i do realize by the way the start of these episodes may be a little slow with all the reading um and i know that some people like it some people might not but i feel this series even if it's not going to get the b biggest reception of my viewers i enjoy it and the people writing for it enjoy it thoroughly so this is how uh, we're going to keep progressing. But anyways, we start with Resilient and Fussy Eater on Courtney. Um, ooh, Amateur Amosmith's kind of decent, although Nervous is pretty bad. Um, although plus one speed isn't terrible, but 10% chance of stress at the start of the round isn't great. Uh, obsessed with death and what lies beyond the mortal coil. And Selfish, Selfish is fine. And then Unwaveringly Positive. Wow, that is not what we think of from Felfa here, but there you go. Fear of cadavers, gain on hit, so 30% chance to gain stress on hitting a corpse. But yes, we do have um, two crossroad diaries to go over before we start this journey. The first one being from Felpha at the crossroads. She walks closer, a strange sense that she saw this all before spreading in the back of her head. Something else mixes in the eternal exhaustion and numbness as the tall barbarian woman approaches closer. Her eyes finally seeing through the fog surrounding the road. A campsite beside an old post and an old stagecoach standing beside it. She contemplates for a moment if she should approach or not, but the people inside it catch her eye. An old warrior, clad in steel armour, looking at the flames. A strange woman gowled in a uh, plague doctor's outfit and a mask covering her face. Clothing covered everything else, leaving her featureless. A woman covered in daggers and other weaponry, cleaning what seemed to be a pickaxe. And Dismas. Why does she know the man's name? One look is enough for her to know it. An image flashes in front of her eyes. Ancient catacombs. Two other people. People she doesn't know. And him. Shooting an undead figure. The old Hellion stumbles forward as she is assaulted with the visions. She contemplates for a moment and then starts walking. She sits beside the highwayman without a word, nodding towards the rest. Unsure eyes darting towards the man. Does he recognise her too? Or is this the insanity finally creeping into her mind, making her see things she isn't supposed to see? I know you. I, I don't know why. You are Dismas. She finally says in a way that indicates it's been a long while since she talked. This is strange. She doesn't comment any further. She has the feeling that they'll have time to talk when they venture out. She knows they will. And then this one is for Josiah. My mind is jumbling. Too many thoughts. The letter is strange. What thing does it wish for me to write? What is wrong for me to solve? I intend to go on this journey, and yet there's more questions than answers. And the barbaric woman seems familiar somehow. For some reason, I have a bad feeling about the emptiness in her eyes. I'll have to ask her um, about it. The other two seem reliable. Strange. Neither of them are like uh, warriors like me. My instincts never fail me, however, so I am content. Let's progress forward with this group and see what trouble we can get into. This was a beautiful place once. What a pity. What a pity. Indeed. But yes, this group ventures forwards into that creeping darkness. We take our academic's cash. Of potency still lingers in some of these not a great one, I'll be relics. honest, but not terrible either. We, of course, grabbed ourselves a trinket. We'll take that. Um, and we grabbed ourselves a few combat items here and there. Honestly, pretty bad combat items to start with, I'll be honest, but... Leave no stone unturned, so to say. We did start with relatively good in provisions, though. I do like that. We'll keep moving forward. Despite our differences in age and position, we shared a keen fascination for archaeology, folklore, and of course, occultism. Let's help out these weary strangers. Hope is contagious once it catches. Indeed, Courtney. Abandoned Indeed. or forgotten. It is ours now. We'll push forward to our first inn. And we'll try to quickly push through the inn. We don't want to stay there too long. 
we still have our first fight yet to fight before we can, you can make it there. It. A change in the air. Indeed we can. Each gravestone is more than a failure. It is a promise to do better. Here we are. The Let's see what this group's made of. Is giving way. So of course, Dismas from this position, unfortunately he did gain that stress. He is going to be mainly using his pistol shot and working as more of a long ranged uh, part of our crew, which we don't really have much of, so I think it's necessary. We'll slice down with that wicked hack. We'll try and take out the stress dealer as quickly as possible. We'll see if that's uh, plausible at all. We'll actually blind her, just in case. Unfortunately, she resists, but that's okay. This first battle usually doesn't mean all too much, as long as we don't take too much stress in the, uh, in the course of this. We should be fine. Oh, that's a stun. Wow, I didn't realize she stunned. That's somewhat problematic, but we should be fine. Dismiss with that death's blow. Of course, Dismiss and Felpha are gonna have some um, are gonna have some catching up to do somewhat. They uh, they do know each other from the past. These two do have a a past that is somewhat entwined. Could lead to some interesting discussions between the two. And then, of course, Josiah, as we just saw, he he knows Dismiss. Uh, sorry, Felfer uh, knows Dismas, so there's going to be some uh, talk of that as well. It's going to be intriguing. Another chomp coming in there. We'll try and finish you off. Sadly, we haven't got anything to get rid of this stress quite yet, but there's the Death Blow. We'll yes. gain a mastery token and be on our way. We actually got a pretty good trinket out of that too. I think, um, as as we have done previously, giving Courtney that trinket is a really good start here. Having Courtney have extra speed is very, very valuable, so we'll, of course, do that. And here we are at the first inn. The place is a little worse for wear. But familiar nonetheless. Okay, so we probably want to go and just do some of this. High chance for improved affinity, very small chance for harming. So this is for the this is for two targets. So we're just gonna go boom boom, and we're gonna go boom boom. Small affinity lost there, but otherwise pretty good. And then we'll check out the mastery. Uh, sorry, the Wainwright. Increased stacks for food is kind of good here. Our mastery token. We probably want this on the thing that we've used prior. I think it was bolster. Yes, it is. Well, we're going to use that on bolster to get rid of a bit more stress here and there. Rather valuable. Um, one thing I will say we can do really quickly is we can check over our character's skills that we have enabled. Take off incision, put that on. Um, point blank shot, of course, isn't going to really affect us here. Okay, a tracking shot could be interesting. We don't, we don't need anything else there. Uh, we want Bellow on, so we'll probably remove... Um, probably remove Rampart here and go, go with Bellow. And then we don't have anything unlocked here yet, so we can leave that for now. And we'll just quickly check the provisions. Fair, but fairly priced. Again, not the best. Um, we will go with... Uh, do you know what? I'm going to take both of those and a then of one of these on the road to damnation and uh, we're gonna do two lots of playing cards just to tr give us a slight boost to our mood prior that was decent all around to be honest and then we can tr every try for a few places a again torment every turn bent on our destruction so we've got Extra scouting chance for academic caches and 200% academic caches. Three mastery points. We've got the Blood Moon, Fog of War, and then with the Sluice. I don't know what the Sluice is, but the Sprawl here is very, very good. Another and we know the Sprawl, city. at least somewhat. Another so we're going to head to the Sprawl. And, madness. and see how that goes.
into the burning city of Amadis once more. We enter, Behold, hoping the for the best. Cities of man, ruined and aflame. Hoping for the best, indeed. Right, let, let us check what we have going on here. So it did say increased chances of academic caches. Unfortunately, we only have two that are uh, marked, so that's not great. Um, I think first off, we'll probably take this fight to the left. It seems like the safest option. Um, Josiah's good for the fight. Courtney would like the mystery. Um, I think we'll, yeah, I think we'll take the fight because it's scouted. We're, we're likely to have a better time. I do apologize there. Okay, let's keep moving forward. We never seem to make any progress, Felther. We're but merely seconds into our journey. Have faith. Have patience. Have some hope. I realize that isn't your strong suit, but it would be nice. We enter the burning pile. And unfortunately, Dismas doesn't want to fight here, but Felfa, as the barbaric she is, for honor, she wants to fight. And we know this man. We've seen him time and time again. We shall take aim. We could Iron Swan to get rid of this guy. I think we actually try and take this dude out first. We've had problems with this dude being alive prior. I don't know. Yeah, he's blight. we can blight him very easily, so let's do that. Oh, the fire flare. That hurts. And that's a burn as well. We don't have anything to remove burn apart from um, our Plague Doctor, so that's going to be painful, but we shall deal with it as it comes. I think we're going to bellow here to try and lower some speed. We Indeed, it worked. That another may finish the work. And there's a crit already and a mobilize. That's okay. That's okay. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Jawbreak. That is slightly annoying. This is already proving to be a difficult fight. The buff to that is uh, certainly not one that we'd hope to see. I think we have to um, ignore healing for now and get that blight stacked up. It's very important. There's a beautiful crit from Dismas as well. Of course, with that uh, take aim, it's a guaranteed crit for that turn. The dodge and the strength here is going to hit hard, and I guarantee, guarantee the hit Felfa, so I'm going to defend her. She needs it. Oh, she didn't, but at least we get that block to reduce that incoming damage. Does not, however, reduce our burn. You can see, however, Blight being very, very important for us here. Taking out this guy very quickly. Infernal Taskmaker. Okay, that's going to add some burn to the lot of us. And going to harshly hurt our burn resists. Unfortunate dodge there, but that was to be expected. Nice one. Dismas game. His amateur armor, armor smith. Accelerant pops once more. Problematic. We take aim for the pistol shot once more. Block that. Unfortunately, burn again. The burns are really going to hurt us here, but we've got to push forward. This is going to heal as well as get rid of the burns. So we will do that this turn. It may seem foolish rather than going for the damage, but I do think it is the proper order. This guy hits Death's Door. Unfortunately, weakening him really does nothing for us because he's still going to apply that burn no matter how much damage he deals. Or still has the chance, but there's the Death's Blow. And now this fight becomes much simpler. I'm not saying it becomes easier, but it certainly becomes much simpler. Stress is amassing amongst the group. People are hurting. Fire is spreading. But blinding gas here is too, um, too advantageous to not take advantage of here. As you can see, a miss across the board helps us out immensely. We strike down on our target. These guys do have a good amount of health left here, so this is going to be somewhat painful. We do not want to hit corpses with you. That would be a, a big mistake. So instead, we'll try to bleed. That's a nice crit. Beautiful. Fire rises. That's, yeah, that's going to buff him up a little bit. That is an interesting move. I did not... 
While I didn't know that existed, I'm glad to find it out. I am going to use my Duelist Advance here, even if I miss to gain a repost. The whip crack for that huge amount of damage there. Things look bleak now, but do not worry. We should come out the other side of this. Fire rises is certainly problematic. Maybe I, I should have been focusing down the other enemy, but that's just how this goes. I'm hoping we can get the kill here. Indeed, we can. We can get a heal on Josiah there. I'm sure he'll like that. And then this enemy not, doesn't have a lot of health. I'm not quite sure what moves it can put against us right now. Let's um, give some vapors to Josiah. Let's try and hit a bit harder. Wicked Slice coming in there. Nice hits. But you're going to heal yourself up a bit. It's annoying, but we can deal with it. The Barrack Yarp is going to reduce damage. It's also going to um, wind us. And it's going to give you... Eh, it's not, it's not very good for us right now, to be honest. I was maybe thinking it'd be okay, but not that good. There's a nice chunky hit. And I think one more should do this. I'm hoping it she attacks Dismas here. Unfortunate. With that extra damage, I knew that was going to hurt. There's a Death's Door, but that doesn't quite solve our problems. But at least we can bolster to reduce that stress a little. And there you go. The cracking of the glass at the feet. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Okay, I think we actually, like, just pile on all fester. of the speed here. And now we've got 11 speed there. Um, Dismas, you can take that. We're feeling a little under the weather here, I'll admit. But things have looked bleaker. Let's hope, I was just about to say, let's hope this isn't a battle and it's actually a hospital. Doesn't mean we'll be able to do much because we don't have very many, you uh... To heal, you have chosen wisely. Very much currency, but... It's at least not combat. It's at least not combat. We'll see how we look after this area to see if we want to fight once more. Okay, Courtney, I think you need this most. And Dismas as well. There you go. Unfortunately, not the best of the best, but it will have to do. This is a difficult one. Um, assistance encounter would be nice. Every, uh, okay, these two want to go for the uh, for the fight, so these two need stress reduction. So we'll listen to them. Courtney and Dismas in agreement. We shall take the fight. Josiah, a little upset by that decision, but he shall get over it. He shall get over it. A little stress coming in there. Unfortunately, relationships being harmed by Josiah's unease. Pity a soul so twisted by despair. Another reasonably hard fight here, but these two want to take it no matter what. There is blood to be spilt. We take on the fight once more. There isn't much choice we had here. Luckily, this fight is, is not as bad, but this still isn't good. I think we want to take out this backline enemy first this time. Proved to be problematic last time. Let's blind you. Whip crack is bad, but it's not terrible. I'm not exactly sure what the tracking shot does, I'll be honest. Ah, uh, it, it just, um... Wait, no, that's the wrong one. Where is it? It just removes their dodge, which isn't actually that valuable. I probably should have gone for more damage rather than that, I'll be honest. 
That's a beautiful crit on that enemy there. Crush going on to you. This is going to hurt. The Indeed it did. The burn begins. in this area is is never ending. Nothing you can really do to get away from it. I'll head for a blight on you. The burn, it just the keeps coming. Okay, this, this is problematic. We need to get rid of that as soon as possible. Okay. I think we're just going to keep on beating on this guy. He's almost dead. He has six health left, so I think we try to go for the finish. Okay. I think now we take take our chance to use Bello here. Them, that another may finish the work. That's a lot of yeah. I need I need I need uh, Court needs to be next turn really badly. Thank you. She needs to get rid of all of that and get a heal. Indeed, impeccably timed. This attack really hurts, though. This attack really hurts. Go for the pistol shot. That's the problem with this. <clears throat> Luckily, we hadn't dealt damage to the other enemy yet, so that didn't make too much of a difference, but it's still not ideal. Especially when you heal back to full. Okay, we'll crush you. Hopefully, just going to pummel this enemy to the ground. I will, however, take this time to heal Josiah because he is hurting bad. Unfortunately, it does harm the relationship between him and Felfa, which is hair and Felfa, should I say, which is not great, but at the same time, a necessary evil. Sometimes people are going to think certain things, but it's not always the case. It's not always the case. Right. There's a finish. Ah, oh, well, Death's Door, at least. It's near near enough. There's the Death's Door. And then this guy has dodge. But Felfa needs the heals. You're, you're healing this time. And that's a beautiful crit. Went straight through the dodge. Unfortunately, this time it worked, though. Josiah is really taking most of the beating, but when an enemy sees this armor, you can understand why they focus down this uh, brooting man. The real bolster. Unfortunately, no more healing. Oh, we do have a repost on this guy as well. They did not notice that. But this guy shouldn't be long for this world for much longer. Like, we should be pretty good to go here. The Blight's not quite going to take him out, but it's going to be close. And again, Josiah, wow. He just hates him so much. It's kind of bizarre. You don't really have the provisions to deal with all this bleed. Potency still lingers in some of these well oh, relics. okay. Josiah, you are 100% taking that on board. The we needed that so base. bad. There you go. Okay. Push forward to this assistance encounter. I'm sorry, Courtney, but the assistance encounter takes precedent here. Stress is arising between the group. Hopefully, Josiah can heal up before our next fight because he is not looking too well. Here we are at the assistance encounter. I'm hoping... This allows us to regain some of that light. I think we should take this offer. We'll lose some, but we gain a lot. Eager to ply his trade. We gain a lot. Good luck to him indeed. Right. Doesn't really matter which direction we take here, so I'm gonna take the right. While there is still time. Yeah, our light is looking much, much better now. We're getting a good amount of food out of these piles here as well as we destroy them. And remember, we will have a roadside battle coming up. Josiah isn't prepared, really, but everyone else is in a decent position to take these guys on. Depending on the foe we have to face. 
Okay, we do have some brigands. They're not as bad. They're still not easy by any means, but they are not as bad. Let's just blind these two off the bat. I think that helps out a bunch. And then we'll reduce some stress here. Nice miss. I think Iron Spawn's going to be good here to take out the pistol holder at the back there, the shooter. Low blow's going to probably, as I was about to say, inflict some bleed. Another low blow to probably inflict a bit more bleed. There you go. And she's been comboed as well. Shell shock, that could stun. Oh no, Daze is not stunned, sorry. And there's the death's blow on you. Let us hope to Taken out. This quickly. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> that hurt a mighty high amount. My goodness. They do not like Felfa right now. They really don't like Felfa. Do not bleed me again. Oh my lord. Wow. No. You can't be serious. Felfa, why? She needs this. Dragged back from the brink. God. Really? That destroyed two relationship pips? She was on Death's door, Josiah. My lord. They just hate her. They just absolutely despise her. These, these enemies are hard. These enemies are very difficult. A stress reduction there is nice. Death's blow on the crit there. Dismas knows what he's doing with that blade. And Josiah takes the heal. He really knows what he's doing with that blade. We might be able to finish this out before the, before the end of combat. I'm not sure, I'll be honest. I need to do some stress relief, really, but at the same time, trying to clear this out before might yield better results. And now they're after Josiah. Fifth round here. I'm going to take a, take a gamble here and just wail on that dude. In the hopes we can finish this guy off somehow. Ah, we really needed a crit there to, for this to be viable. I can't even hit any of these corpses, really. I'll get stress. You want to stress me out? No, it didn't. Yeah, that was kind of a waste, actually, unfortunately. It's always a shame when you can't quite finish those battles. But that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Courtney, what do you have? Clear corpses, that would be useful. Let's push forward. Another assistance encounter for us here. To assist our fellow man is to inspire hope. I believe this group knows that well. Even in their irritable state. Unfortunately, both of these are tempted to lose light. Courtney, unfortunately, as the relationship the dwindles, waits. I would he much rather apply his trade. take that. We will take a cash, of course. Cures a bit of stress. Felfa is still the one that I feel like she's not really, like, blending well with the group. But with time, relationships build. She already trusts Dismas somewhat in a, in a way that she doesn't quite understand. But still, it, the trust lingering, it's there. An impressive haul. Put it to good use. Interesting. Still yet to get stuff that I actually want, though, but interesting nonetheless. Extra flame. Oh my. That is quite sweet. Okay, so let's get rid of... We don't care about that. 
And we also don't care about that for right now. Okay. We do have a cultist encounter here. Of human learning and achievement. Ruined by riotous contempt. And another road battle. The road is long and the path is tough. And it's yet more brigands again. Okay, so how do we want to handle this? I think, honestly, this opening move was incredibly potent last time. We'll do that again. Uh, and I, I still think that taking out the backline uh, shooter early is good. We don't want to get dazed again. I really do wish that Felfa had a bit of a better uh, ability to stand to these attacks, though, because they, they do not care for her at all. They truly do not care for her in any which way that exists. Good miss. Bolster once more. I'm with you. Steady on. Let's go. On cooldown. I think we'll go down to prevention here. Um, just to try and prevent that... Uh, Horrible incident. Nice blight on you. A horrible incident, as we've had before. Iron Swan for the death blow. That is very necessary here. The low blow coming in once more, of course. Setting up for the combo. Wait, what? How do we? How exactly do we use this? We have to use it on a person for some reason. I'm not quite sure why that is. Bolster's on cooldown, so we'll just go with Defender here. You shall not combo. Try and get this guy dead via Blight. Nice one, Josiah. The defense here is very, very necessary. Thank you. And this should be you dead. Choose this to lower both of our stress levels. Puts us all at three stress, much better. We can start slicing some of the front line. I still don't think we're going to be able to do this in time. The finishing blow finally comes in. Just one damage and resist the bleed. There you go. Yeah, we're on round four now. We need to heal up, so... Are your wounds not enough? You are literally... Okay, it's... I, I hope they patch stuff like that. Because it, it does kind of annoy me that Dismas just got upset at Courtney for not healing his wounds when he is literally unable to be healed. It makes no sense. Why can that happen? Messy, but effective. Right. Round five, we got one round to kill this dude. Go for the vapors on you. Keep forgetting you can't bloody hit him. That wastes an entire turn. And potentially stresses us out. I need to make sure of that for next time. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna fail this again. There's no way I can kill him now. Even with a very, very strong hit from Josiah, it's not gonna cut it. And he can't even crush. I thought I thought he could hit position three. Oh wait, has this dismiss moved up one for some reason? Why is that? I don't know why that is. That's f that's very frustrating. I don't know what caused Dismas to move. Uh I used Duelist Advance. I'm dumb. Waste of resources there, Ian. I, I, I have to say, I still don't know how to feel about road battles. I I understand that there's a, there's a round limit to make sure they don't last too long because they're meant to be short battles. But it is very frustrating when you get that close to beating the battle 
and you waste all your resources and it's just like, nah. Okay, we have to fight this, Courtney says, with purpose. Let's move forward into this cultist encounter. These enemies are hugely, hugely pains in the asses, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try our best here, but... Break the dodges as they come. God damn, the health in these things. It's gonna be kind of annoying. Anti prevention for the group. Emboldened. Good little bleed resist there. And a blood bond again. For one bleed resist, but not two. And it blinds both of us too, which is. Just great. There is but we can bolster for a bit of stress relief at least. A flame, nice one. This is going to be really tough, I think. I think this could this could really hurt us because we've got to get rid of all of these dodges, and they can add more. Why can't I do if it bleeds? I'm going to do Iron Swan and try and take off your dodge too. Mobella. Miscalculation, perhaps. I don't care if it missed all. That's fine by me. Oh, why did that miss the? <laughs> God damn it! Oh, and then we got horror as well. Yep, there's the dodge back again, and there's your dodge back again. Ah, oh, goddamn, these enemies are so brutal when you don't have a choice whether you fight them or not. It's so tough. A little help I think we're going to die to these enemies. Either that or this battle is going to be very, very long. Because we, we're, we're going to keep getting blinded and they're going to keep getting dodge. And we don't really have good, like, they've got more dodge look. And we've, we've got no real proper way of removing dodge from these enemies. Like, look how much damage we've managed to do so far. It's basically none. And there's another dodge. Okay, that's good at least. We got a very big hit on you. Don't need balls to here. Got some damage on you. And they're going to crit next attack as well. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I, I get that you're meant to... You're supposed to be dying a lot early, but this is so unbelievably tough. Like... I am almost certain we will die here. Dismas taking a blind once more. You're almost gone. There's that thing gone at least. Another dodge by you. Because the thing is, the longer we keep these things alive, the more they're going to do shit like that. suffering begins. We're losing someone here. Look at that stress as well. We can't, we, we're out of heals. We can't even heal anymore. So we've, we've lost Felth, the Felth is dead. I just, I don't know how you kill these things without dying. They're so unbelievably tough. More horror for you. They have a lot of HP too. And you've got Death's Door Resist? Really? Is that really necessary? Josiah's gonna go as well. They've got bleed on them. I just, I don't get it. Yeah, that's one gone. A righteous action. Because these things do such low damage that they but they still deal damage that they're gonna be constantly giving us weak or finishing us off. That's good damage there. Okay. Nothing more. Really? Oh you're weakened, of course.
Please fight through this, guys. Please fight through this. Another crit is wonderful here. Dismas is still chilling. Dismas, honestly, these two at the front, at the back are absolutely chilling. Please don't miss. Oh no, you ha you're like our only damage source right now, Dismas. Why? Keep these fellas alive, please. Oh my god. You're on one health. God damn it. You're on a meltdown as well. British relationships completely ruined. And Narrow they are suspicious of one another. Muttered threats. All trust is lost. All a trust is lost. Section. An unavoidable end. Please let us kill this before it gets another turn. Please. Thank you. We survived, but my goodness. Eager to ply his trade. My god. If we get in literally any other fights throughout this, we are having a bad time. A bad, bad time. Yeah, everyone's trinket it up, but this this is not a great trinket here. We'll take this. Oh my lord. This game's tough. Felt us on the brink. On the very edge. We have to take the path. That is uh sputters. There's actually marked out for us. To get it. Okay, another desperate few. Sorry, Decimus. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. Taking this one, thank you. I will not be taking a fight if I can handle it. We still gotta do the Guardian as well. You gotta remember that. The Guardian's still there. We still have to do the Guardian. That's gonna be tough. We once again reach the desperate few. Hey, respectful. Worthless without purpose. Beautiful. These two actually agree. Agree with one another. This could create some good stuff for us in the future. This is a lair. Uh, hell no, we're not entering the lair. <laughs> I will be passing directly on from that. I think you do have to fight the first fight, if I'm not mistaken. But otherwise, we will be taking a swift turn away from that. Library there. burns. And yeah, with it, we have we have to do the first fight. Philosophy, reason, and insight. Nice crit. Oh, you resisted that though. God damn it. We're going to need some strong stress relief here. We can't let this guy get too close either. Dysentery as well. Wow. Minus 20% max HP. Dazed. God damn it. We at least take out that guy. Try and lower the stress a little bit. Haha, <laughs> zero damage. You did blight me, so fair play. Let's get rid of that block that you've got on you there. Respectful. You're welcome at my fire. 
less stress as well. I like to see it. Lower their speed a bit. Ah, oh, only one of them took the speed down. It's okay. Yeah. More light begins. coming in. Flame spreads once more. A nice cure there. Good as new. The relationship is healing. The relationship is healing. Some blight for you. Again, resisted. I know these hive guys have high resist. What else am I meant to do here? This guy's probably going to end up being able to do his attack, to be honest. There's no way we're killing him before his turn. We'll try our best, but... It's going to be tough. We need one of these to push forward. Actually, we might be able to get him. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Nice. That helps. The wicked hat coming in. I'm sad we, have, sad we haven't had any hero shrines yet. I was hoping we'd see a few of those. There's the blight on you. And that's a death blow as well. Wow. That was convenient. Pistol shot for you. Stress has been our main problem so far, so we'll be definitely be trying to upgrade some skills to help deal with that stress. Vulnerable, my god. Welcome relief from caustic agony. And there's the death blow. Oh my god, we will be escaping, thank you. Scavenge what you can and be off once more. We will reach. Ooh, we can get medical herbs to cure. Cure any ailment. It's good. Right. We'll head forward towards the inn now. Oh, that that was just the lair. I'm stupid. We've still got the uh, cultist encounter. The guard, sorry, the guardian. For some reason, my brain was like, oh, yep, that was the guardian. Done. And no, no, no. Life is not that easy. Life is much more cruel than that. Much more cruel than that, indeed. The Wayne Rider waits, eager to ply his trade. Ooh, we got Burn Salve. That could help. We're over encumbered as well by quite a bit here. Uh, let's just quickly check out the Burn Salve. Right. Um, don't care about that. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. There you go. Oh my god. Let's hope that this isn't too bad. So we don't we, we, we ain't ready for anything bad. Belthus still stressed out of her mind. She has been the whole time. My god. Place has no mercy. Plus 25 resistances to everything, basically. God, this does not look pleasant. I'm going to start with Ounce of Prevention so we don't get set on fire all the time, I'll be honest. And Bellow seems like a good start, too. Although it didn't work on everyone. We've got to take this guy out first. Waste a few turns, but you've got to. we got to just take the damage on the noggin. That we can at least. Ow. Of course a crit. Immobilize is fine, but the crit is not. Flame spreads. Oh my god. You weakened me? Are you kidding? Ah, oh, that's just terrible. <laughs> I 
is just terrible. Okay, your armor is gone at least. We can start to deal with you properly. I'm going to give myself that strength to try and deal with you a bit quicker. Okay, it's not bad. It's half your HP gone. Ignite heals you up a little bit. Ooh, heals you up a bit as well. And guards you, okay. Interesting to note. You can ignite too, okay. There's, there's a lot of igniting going on right now. I don't, I don't like the idea of this. Probably some hefty burns coming in. A lot of debuffing on our team going on right now. This 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 betrayal suspicion thing is so annoying. <laughs> Extinguished at last. Well, she melted down anyways and ruined her relationships. Oh my god. How were you meant to not resentful? The slowest. Once you get one meltdown. Wait, look how much health they took off her. What the heck? Are you Are you seriously going to refuse healing right now? What the fuck is this? Lethality writ large. This is brutal. You have one meltdown and you are ruined. Your relationships for the rest of that entire run are ruined. They're just going to keep debuffing and stressing each other out for the rest of the run. What the hell is this? How are we meant to curb? There's, there's, there's a lot, like, I, I think this game's better than D, D, Dark Ascension 1 in a lot of ways. It's di very different, so it's not really that comparable. But at the same time, there's a few things that I'm I'm really finding it very difficult to come to grips with. The slow suffering begins. Healing and stress is the two, and, and like stress relief, should I say, are the two biggest things that I just don't understand at the moment. There's basically none of either. And there goes Felfa. So we're, we're doomed. We're down a member, so we are doomed. I think Felfa is honestly... Well, I would say Felfa, the Helion, should I say, is honestly pretty much garbage. She's she's almost worthless. She's, she's never very good at all. One less obstacle in our path. Oh my god. The slow suffering begins. Just I the enemy can do a move that stresses out my whole party and I can't stress relief my whole party. In fact, I have one stress relieving move and it's got a cooldown. <laughs> it's just and I get crit for 18. Okay. All right. 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 And then look, I got no healing, so that's going to be good. I'm just I'm finding it real difficult to come to grips with how everything works. I think I just need to unlock more skills. Um that sort of thing. Should probably should have guarded him there. That would have been a much better idea, but he's burning anyway, so it doesn't matter. Slow suffering begins. It's just so difficult. Dragged back from the brink. Our stress is just unfathomably high, and we have basically no way to deal with it. Because oh look, can't bolster. I can't even can't even use crush out of position. I guess I just defend. Through the fatigue. Why did we all get stressed there? What happened? Well, we're pushing through, but it's not going to end well. Like after this, after this next in, we're completely burned. There's nothing we can do to pull us back. So we don't get Felfa back. She's gone now. Steady yourself. Yeah. 
Here's the meltdown. Relationships ruined. There's the death blur, the good good. Impediment. Cleared with impunity. Okay, we made it through. We will not be going further. We will be escaping, thank you. An inkling of potency still lingers. Yeah, I really think you should start well with healing selves. Relics. Like healing selves are so rare. And basically they are like completely necessary to win. Or at least I feel like they are. Get rid of that. Of that. Really don't know what else to get rid of, to be honest. Just not really worth discarding. I don't know. It's, everything's too valuable. Oh my god, we're at the next inn, but I don't know, this this is going to be one of the things that's kind of difficult about this series. Like, our next run is absolutely doomed. There is no way we're surviving, there's only three of us. So, what do I do? Do I abandon this one and start, a, start afresh? Or do I try and push forward with the three people we have and know that we're going to die very quickly? I don't really know. Either way, guard. we are here, gaze. and in the next episode, here. we shall work with these guys and buy what we need to buy, heal who we need to heal, stress heal, all that sort of stuff. Wait, oh, Jane's here now. Is that a thing? What? What? That's new to me. Okay. 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 Amazing. Right, we, we have a chance, either way. I hope you guys did enjoy. This was a stressful one, and one that I found very difficult. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. You were right to fear the world. It has gone mad.